Hey guys, I'm outside. It's kind of sunny, so I might squint a little bit. I'm going to try and make this quick. I'm here to do the 50 things about me tag. And like I said, I'm going to try and make it quick. We'll see. Let's just get into it. My socks have their own feet from the beginning. I can get a brand new pair of socks, and if I put one on and it doesn't feel right, I will put it on the other foot. And from there on, I can guarantee you it goes on the same foot every time or it will bug me all day. I have like footprints in my socks because they go on the same feet every time. I swam with sea turtles in the peninsula in Mexico and it was awesome. After my senior year, I went down with a group of the advanced bio kids and we did some saving sea turtle work and it was just fantastically awesome. I do scuba diving with my husband and I love it. It's one of the best things I've ever decided to learn to do and I love it, love it, love it. Um, I have a thing about eyebrows. I get very self-conscious about them. My eyebrows when they're not done and I cannot help but stare at and be bugged at people's eyebrows when they're like insanely uneven. It's awful. I would never mention it to anybody but it's, yeah, I notice. I come up with these crazy ideas like Harry Potter room, Alice in Wonderland room, just other crazy ideas and I can't get them out of my head until I do them or until I know for sure that I cannot do them. I hate shopping except shopping for underwear and socks. Yeah. I do stained glass. My grandmother taught me and I love it. I've lived in six different states. I've been to four different countries. I'm kind of a cheap person. I don't like spending money, especially on myself, but I have really expensive taste sometimes, so it's kind of a double-edged sword there. I got my Girl Scout Silver Award, but did not get my Girl Scout Gold Award because I had to get my tonsils out. And my Girl Scout Silver Award, I did more hours and more effort work-wise than my husband did for his Eagle Scout or my cousin did for his Eagle Scout Award, and it bugs me. It's still bugs me to this day that Boy Scouts do less work and they get more recognized for it, but whatever. <laughs> we'll go into that. Um, I had the hiccups so bad once that they went on for days. I lost my voice and it hurt. And I finally went into the doctor and they put me on tranquilizers and it took two days or almost three days to get them to go away. The tranquilizers were really heavy too. You can tell how somebody knows me or where they know me from by what they call me. I taught swim lessons for five years. I still cannot smell chlorine. I could sit there and sniff bleach and can't smell it for the most part. Um, some of those kids that I taught have kids now. It's really weird. I can do the ABCs backwards because of one of the kids that I taught. He was terrified of doing back floats and we used to sing to the kids while we were doing back floats and it relaxed them. And he finally told me one day that he would do a back float for me if I learned how to do the ABCs backwards. So I did. I'm ordained, which is kind of cool. I hate mint enough that I don't like brushing my teeth. I do brush my teeth, but I don't like mint. I can't use the cinnamon stuff because it like burns my gums though. Sometimes I sleep <laughs> with an arm in the air, so I'll just be like laying down and my arms hanging up there. And my hand is always like this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There are a lot of truckers in my family. My dad was a trucker, my grandparents were truckers. Um, I think my uncle was a trucker for a while. And I used to go on the road with them sometimes. And I sleep so wildly that we had to get those huge Disney books and put them in between the um, rail and the mattress so that my sister and I wouldn't fall off the top bunk of the bed. Sometimes I get car sick and it's really random. It's not like an every time thing. Um, but I get very nervous when either I'm driving and there's a wall on the passenger side or if I'm in the passenger side and there's a wall on the driver's side, I'll get car sick with that. I hate peas. I hate peas with a passion. They're disgusting. Um, I'm a pretty handy person. I love to build stuff. Nurses named me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm named after two queens. My parents got divorced when I was five, and I remember them sitting us down. I remember the conversation. I remember everything about it. I remember what we were wearing, but I blocked out a lot of my childhood. Like, I can't remember meeting my brother. It's very strange. I talk in my sleep a lot. 
a lot. <laughs> um, but if I wouldn't tell you something in person, pretty much won't tell you in my sleep either. So you can keep asking, but I won't. Sometimes I have dreams that end up happening and it's really kind of strange sometimes. I got, I got an A in statistics and I set the curve because our final test was worth 60% of our grade plus it replaced two of our worst tests. So I got an A and set the curve because I sat there, I had no idea what I was doing. I have no clue how to do statistics, I'm awful. But I decided I was going to try and make Tweety Bird with all the bubbles, because it was a bubble in test. And so I made a picture of Tweety Bird and I got an A, set the, set the curve. <laughs> I majored in child development and in classes, we would color and make GAC and write our own children's books. <laughs> that was my schooling. The first thing I do in the morning is kiss Jeremy. Uh, it used to creep him out a lot, like really creep him out because, well, I don't know. It would wake him up and it, he would get creeped out, but it doesn't anymore. He doesn't even wake up anymore. Um, when I first wake up, especially when I'm really tired, my balance is awful. My balance is terrible. It's bad. I'll like walk into walls and fall into walls and things. My favorite color is teal, but when I'm doing art projects and stuff, I gravitate a lot towards purple. I love to bake, but I prefer to give it away to people so that I don't eat it all and get fat. But I have a huge sweet tooth. We actually signed the papers to buy our house on our wedding day. Yeah. We got the keys to our house and moved in the day we got back from our honeymoon, which was a huge debacle. If you'd like to hear our honeymoon story, leave a comment below and I'll tell it, but it was a huge debacle. I no longer speak to or associate myself with my bio mother. I peed my pants in seventh grade. Yeah, so there was a chugging contest during lunch and English class was my second, second or my, my seventh class, whatever class it was, the class after lunch. And I won the chugging contest, yes, and as a prize, they gave a two liter bottle of soda. Who does that? And my best friend at the time bet me $10 that I could not chug the two liter of soda after I had just won a chugging contest. I did it, I got 10 bucks, but then the bell rang, I, got, I had to go to class, so I didn't have time to pee. I had to pee so bad, and he kept tickling me and making me laugh. And at some point I was trying to stop because I was going to get in trouble. I got in trouble a lot for talking and laughing in class. And he finally just made me laugh so hard I peed my pants. And my teacher made me clean it up before I left class to change my pants. And so our school was like, it was like a spoke and wheel or a wheel and spoke design, whatever, and they only allowed you to walk one way. So I had to walk all the way down the hallway and then go all the way around the stupid wheel to get out of the school and go get my pants from the PE locker room. And then the locker room was closed. I had to wait for somebody to come by. It was ridiculous. I used to go to summer camp with a church I used to go to and our, our year was pretty closely knit. But we used to do, um, because you couldn't be blood sisters anymore, like Megan Alley Doodles brought up, we used to be spit sisters, and we had, we had airhead exchanges. We would all bring airheads, and we would stand in a circle and chew up part of an airhead, and then we'd just, yeah. I'm convinced that I was born in the right, wrong time era. I think I was meant to be early to mid Twenties, so like 18 to 20 something in the mid 40s during the war and stuff. Yeah. I am in love, in love with strawberries, in love with strawberries. I used my sister's ID for a long time and nobody ever found out. Well, a person that I worked with found out and she saw me in a bar. <laughs> I'm notorious for killing plants, but I'm keeping my orchid alive, which I'm proud of myself for. I sing a lot. I will sing everything and I can't get songs out of my head. I used to pass I'm I used to pass some of my classes by putting all the facts of the tests into songs that I already knew the tunes to and I would 
pass my classes that way. I am dyslexic. I'm pretty badly dyslexic. It's pretty awful. I can't spell. Don't ask me to spell anything. I'm awful at it. Um, I read better upside down because I am dyslexic, but I love to read. I have an accent that not many people get to hear because I work very hard. I worked very hard to be able to not speak with my accent, but it slips when my aunt calls sometimes. I worked in Hooters when I was underage. I rappelled down a cave in Moaning Caverns, which was awesome, and a bat flew into my face, which was not awesome. I hate because they attack me. I have been attacked by seagulls on more than one occasion. Like, I think I'm up to four or five now. It's ridiculous. I hate seagulls. They're awful. And there are some bonus ones in here. There are like four or five bonus ones in here, by the way. First time I ever flew a kite was Mother's Day 2013. My hubby got me a kite. My girls and my girls and I flew some kites. I had a Mo from the Three Stooges haircut, which goes back to the name thing. I have never dyed my hair. The only thing I've ever done to my hair is cut it. My first and only true celebrity crush was David Boreanaz, which if you don't know who he is, oh my god, you need to go look him up because he is gorgeous. I would still I, I, would, I still kind of have a bit of a crush on him, yeah. My brother and I used to fight over him. I was in a head-on collision with a wall um, at on the highway because of some dumbass, and that's a long story, but um, my, like, things flashed before my eyes, I blacked out, I remember feeling spinning, but I can't remember seeing spinning. Um, and I remember all I could think about was my nephew in the back seat and thinking that we were going to die and I had just killed us. And then once the car stopped spinning, all he said was, he started crying and said, my cars, because he had had a little uh, Lightning McQueen and a little tow mater that had flown out of his hands. And that was what he was upset about. I met my first boyfriend through MySpace. I met my hubby on a blind date because... I had just broken up with my boyfriend and I was <laughs> I was at dinner with a friend having some drinks and was telling her how I was so just done dating for a while but while I was in the bathroom she called a friend that she knew was single and said handed me the phone when I got back said you have a date with this guy and that's how I met him. So those are my 50 something things about me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I tag you. Whoever has not done it, I tag you. And video responds to me so I can watch it. So that's it. I'm gonna go before it gets like even longer. I'll talk to you all later.